Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Citicom video, we have some news regarding AMD's future products. AMD have released their roadmap of future embedded products, and it's fairly interesting to say the least. The first would be Hero Falcon, which is a CPU SOC. It's reported to be the first 64-bit ARM based platform from AMD and it will be targeting embedded data center applications, communications infrastructures as well as various industrial uh, solutions. So what type of specifications can you be expecting? Well it's going to be powered by up to 8 ARM Cortex A57 CPUs. They're expected to run at 2 GHz. In addition to this, they're going to provide very high memory uh, bandwidth because they're going to be using 64-bit DDR3 or um, DDR4 channels that will, of course, include error corrective memory so that obviously there's a greater degree of uh, reliability. And it'll also come with a 10 gigabyte Ethernet and PCIe uh, Gen 3. So that'll make sure that you've got very high speed networking. And it's also going to be coming with ARM Trust Zone technology as well as cryptographic security co-processor. All of this, of course, is to ensure high security. Now, if you're wondering when this is going to be available, it's going to be the second quarter of 2014. That's when sampling is going to uh, start happening. And then the later half of that year, you're going to actually start seeing production. Next one would be a Bald Eagle. I'll say again, Bald Eagle. That's going to be an APU slash CPU. It's going to, of course, be very similar in x86 solutions and is going to be a high-performance x86 bed embedded processor available as a both an APU and CPU. In other words, of course, you're going to have the choice between either a all-in-one unit or just the CPU itself. As for what the CPU is going to be, it's going to be 35-watt TDP and will feature up to four of the new Steamroller CPUs. You're also going to be seeing, with the APU product anyway, the new power-optimized AMD Radeon GCN uh, architecture, as well as HSA. And you're also going to be seeing a slew of different power management features. As a slight note, the Bald Eagle APU slash CPU slide does actually call it, the AMD Radeon HD 9000 series GPU, not the rumor that's been going around, which is the Radeon R9280 or whatever. So it's actually calling it the, R, the HD 9000. Perhaps that's just for the purposes of people to being able to understand it better. The Steep Eagle is going to be next. That is going to be a low power embedded device and it will be an APU SOC platform. It's going to feature enhanced, that's their words, AMD Jaguar Core as well as an AMD graphics card, uh, graphics core next uh, GPU architecture. Once again, just like the Bald Eagle, this is going to be appearing and later on, uh, Bald Eagle is going to be in the first, first half of 2014. Meanwhile, Steep Eagle is going to be increasing its both CPU and GPU clock speeds. More than that, it's going to be trying to lower the performance per watt, and so it's going to be aiming to get above 2 GHz, as we know AMD Jaguar tops out at about 2 GHz right now. We're not exactly sure when it's going to be released. AMD are just stating it's going to be the first half of 2014. For those who are console Enthusiasts, you'll know, of course, AMD Jaguar is the space for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so AMD are already uh, moving forward in that front. And finally, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, is the Adelar, which is a discrete GPU. It's going to be the next generation discrete AMD embedded Radeon GPU based on GCN, also known, of course, as Graphics Core Next Architecture and is designed for embedded applications. So this is going to be coming with a multi-chip module and will also be embedded with two gigabytes of graphics memory. It would also feature, of course, 
as you'd expect, great 3D graphics, multi-display uh, support, of course, Windows and Linux, OpenGL 4.2, DirectX 11.1 .1 and onwards. And more to the point is actually going to be an MCM module. Now, MCM stands for multi-chip module. And interestingly enough, this is actually the rumor initially that the Xbox One was going to actually feature an MCM, which was initially supposed to be, uh, obviously this has been debunked now just today, but it was actually supposed to be that the AMD Jaguar inside it was actually an MCM and there was a discrete GPU hidden inside. Obviously these rumors have been completely and utterly quashed. So obviously there are a plethora of diff a plethora I'm sorry of different uses for these things such as for example set top boxes are definitely going to be using them it could also be used for smart TVs and much more besides and obviously eventually it could even be used in say cheap PCs netbooks whatever else because obviously it is x86/64 in some of the cases anyway I think that's just about it for this particular video I'm going to get going hopefully you've enjoyed it I will see you soon. Soon. Take care. Bye for now.